Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you clicked on today's video, and as you've seen in the title, this video is going to be my latest pickups. So I guess my fall pickups, let's call it that. So before I get into today's video, make sure you guys click the like button, click the subscribe button as well, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Drop any comments if you have anything about that. I'm, if you <laughs> drop any question, comments, or concerns down below if you have any throughout. Um, any question, comments, or concerns down below if you have any throughout the video. Let's get into it. Okay, so the last video that I did like this, you guys really did like it, so I thought, why not do another one? So. Here I am again. So I have accumulated a lot of things that I've been picking up recently, just so that way I can build into my wardrobe. Um, all of these things I have bought with my own money, except for one of the things, well, two of the things um, that I will be mentioning, and you will see those in a second. But I just want to like accumulate some things into my wardrobe or just like my daily essentials as the fall season. It's like we're really diving headstrong into it. Mercury is in retrograde, so I have been spending a lot just to distract myself from everything. <laughs> Trying to cope with my own emotions, but um, it has been paying off in the long run just so that way I'm adding a lot of new things into my day-to-day -day accessories or wardrobe essentials. So for the first thing, I have been thrifting a lot. And I actually went to this thrift store that's not too far from me. As I'm in a new neighborhood, there's a lot, there's a ton of thrift stores out here in Bushwick. So I have been trying to take my time and go into each and every one of them, but it is extremely overwhelming. So I do request that if you do go thrifting, it's good to go in there knowing what you want because when you walk in there, there's literally shelves and rows and racks of everything you can think of. So just going in there and just like browsing through everything, you spend a lot more than what you expect. However, though it is cheap, you still kind of walk out with things that you kind of didn't need and it was more so impulse buying so i walked in there really didn't know what i wanted but i kind of was looking for like more workwear pieces as i'm stepping into the like my workwear aesthetic it's going to be these dickies workwear pants and it's in like this brown color and i picked them up i didn't think that they were gonna fit i didn't know the size of them until i looked inside and i was like oh wow these are perfect and they fit perfectly. Like I didn't think that I would ever fall in love with like some workwear pants that are just straight down and not slim fit. And they literally go with everything. Like they're easy to style, they're really nice. Um, definitely would recommend going to thrift stores and buying like workwear pants because a lot of them upcharge just buying them like brand new, quote unquote. Um, they charge a lot of money, like $80, $89, which makes no sense to be charging that much for a pair of pants that are thrifting, thrifted, you know? So definitely would recommend you checking out um, like thrift stores to get you some workwear. So for the next stop, I had stopped into Urban Outfitters and I wanted, I like to shop during the sales because it's a lot easier and you get more bang for your buck because if you start picking up inside of Urban Outfitters, you do pick up a lot of stuff that ends up being really expensive and you'll turn around and end up spending maybe three, four hundred dollars on maybe six items, which is insane and makes no sense. I know. Overpriced, yes it is. However, you do find some things that a lot of people don't usually gravitate towards or can't get their hands on it because it is a little bit too expensive. So it is good to add things into your cart, put it for safe later, wait for the sale that's like 50, 40 or 30 percent off and then cop it as soon as you see it. So that way you're paying a lot less than what you actually would be paying if it's on if it's not on sale. So that's usually what I do. So I had I used to have this sweater a couple of years ago and I lost it somehow. I don't remember. I don't know if it's back at home because I still have clothes back at home in North Carolina. I don't remember, but I don't have it here. And it is just the classic reverse weave champion sweatshirt. Sleeve. <laughs> this classic reverse weave champion sweatshirt um, hoodie and I got it on sale for $25 and that's really, really that's basically 50% off and I seen it on 
in the sales section. I was like, oh, I didn't even know that these were on sale. So I had to snap one. Every time I see them, no matter what color it is, if you do see it and you don't have it, it's the perfect time to get it. Because these retail for maybe about like 60 bucks. And that's a, it's, it's pretty high for a sweatshirt and it's really good quality. So I mean, I kind of don't see the reason why it wouldn't be that price, but to get this on sale for $25, especially at Urban Outfitters, is definitely a major steal. And yeah, it's just just something that's an essential that you can style with basically anything that's like in your wardrobe. And it's even something that you wear every day. And some people, they don't dress as different as I do. I'm wearing like different stuff every day. Um, some people just like the way they favorite sweatshirt. Can't go wrong with it. So for the next thing that I picked up from there, as I, as I told you guys, I am getting into the work, the work gear stuff and work wear, um, work wear styling. And this is a little bit different. Um, this was, this was, this was expensive. I did, I don't know why would I even spend this much money, especially from something that that's not like Carhartt or like Dickies, but it's in the BDG brand from Urban Outfitters. And this was, a, I think this was $80. Um, but it is this workwear, this plaid workwear shirt. You guys have seen me style it before, but I'm not upset at the purchase, but I just don't see why I spent that much on it. And then I have like a what, $5 reward coupon thing. No, actually I got this, I had a 20% off. So I had a 20% off and I had a $5 off coupon. So that's about $20 maybe off and then $5 off. I didn't pay nowhere near the price of this. And then I had like another thing that, um, that I, Filming on a Friday, literally the worst idea I ever thought. I don't know why. Don't know why I did this to myself, but Anyways, all in all, I picked up this workwear jacket and it's something that I have been wearing a ton. Even though I'm not taking pictures in it, it is really warm, it's nice to layer. Um, it's really comf it's like comforting and it's soft too. Um, it has this like black lining on the inside that keeps you warm as well. Um, there's some pockets here and then there's four pockets up here. And well, it's one, two, and then three and four on the other side. So I definitely, I mean, if you, if you see it, you're around it, and it's on like it's during the sale time at Urban. I would recommend you to get it. Why not? So for the next thing, I had took a trip recently to Zara, and you guys may be seeing on my timeline. I have been obsessed with cardigans. Like I have had a big obsession with cardigans, and I've been picking up every cardigan I could possibly think of. I did thrift one, but that one is currently at the cleaners, and I'm getting that um, taken care of. But I picked up these two cardigans. I got this one in this like forest green. It comes off brown, but no, yeah, you can definitely see that it's like this green color. And there's no pockets on it, which I hate, but these are really soft. Um, now, <laughs> we all know that Zara can upcharge. Um, and it's basically, I, I'm, this is my thing about them. I feel like they, when they do like new arrivals, the new arrivals usually cost more than like the older stuff that are in like their past seasons. So this was actually in the new arrivals and this is actually $70 for the cardigan. And I actually got two of them. I didn't find, well, I actually didn't find out how much they were until I got to the register. And I was like, okay, well you're already up here, so you might as well get it. And then this one's in like this, like caramel color. The way that this comes off on camera is literally not how it looks in person. I kid you not. It does not look like this. It doesn't look like that color in person. This looks like more of a, um, like a hazelnut, but that's not the color. This is like a, definitely like a caramel chocolate. Um, but yeah, I don't, I wouldn't, recommend paying $70 for a cardigan that's like just as basic as this. I don't know why I did this to myself. Um, so yeah, but you guys know that I've been obsessed with cardigans. I would suggest also checking out your thrift stores as well. Thrift stores, ASOS, um, Urban even has some nice ones on sale. Uh, even a Zara woman section, they do have some nice ones even in their older season. Don't be afraid to check out the sales section as well. Um, I'm trying to think like where else. I have a gray one that's from Alex Mill. That one was pretty nice, but that one was in PR. Um, 
So this is just like stuff that I've been spending my money on, which is kind of not making any sense because it's like Jerome, why would you be spending that much money on like a cardigan? And I feel like that's really expensive for a cardigan, but definitely check out your thrift stores and the stores that I mentioned. We're gonna take a little shift away from um, clothing before I get into shoes and we're gonna go into just like my basic lifestyle stuff that I've been inco incorporating into my day to day. Um, this would have to be, oh, why is it like this? Okay, so for the next thing, it would have to be this Fenty Skin Moisturizer. I actually got this in PR. I was not expecting it. I forgot that it was even on the PR list. And I've started using this into my everyday regimen along with this Neutrogena. Let me go grab it. Along with this Neutrogena um, gel moisturizer, if it would focus on this and not me. So I've been adding, I've been adding these two things into my everyday regimen as my moisturizers after my um, serums and this combo has been sick like definitely would recommend this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream Extra Dry Fragrance Free Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer and then this is the Fenty Skin I uh, just I guess everyday moisturizer this is a oh the instant reset this isn't the um the SPF one that's like like um that has sunscreen inside of it this is just like one that you can use for a nighttime or just every day and that's the one that i have been using the most because it's way less fragrance um fragrancy than the spf one so i do like that one and the, the gel moisturizer from neutrogena is perfect with it because it gives you like a nice glow and a nice sheen without you being too oily or anything like that so for the next thing it would have to be um, I, you guys know that I struggle with anxiety and panic attacks, so I have been trying out a ton of CBD products, which everything has been working well for me. So I'm trying to find different methods in, um, in taking CBD during like my panic attacks or just even after a long day of work just to unwind and relax myself and to stop my brain from thinking just about work. Um, and even during times where I'm overthinking. So I went to this, um, the mini mall in Bush, in Williamsburg, and I seen that there was a CBD shop and I had picked up this CBD pen in the flavor Sativa. And it's been good. I'm not gonna lie, it's been really, really good. Um, I've been using it just about every day. Um, I forgot how many milligrams, I think this is 750. I think, I'm not sure, I don't remember. But it definitely does relax me after a long day, especially with me drinking coffee as well. So that already has my brain rattling, such as right now. But um, that definitely does help out a lot. Um, so if anyone out there is struggling with like um, anxiety or panic attacks and was wanting to try and get into CBD, I would recommend for you to do that. But go and talk to your doctors first. I am not a doctor, just saying. But it helps me. I'm talking about my experiences and how it helps me. Hopefully it would help you. So for the next thing, it would have to be this hand sanitizer that I got from PF Candle Co. What is up with this camera focusing on my face? But this this is, of course, it's an essential. There's no way to beat around the bush with everything that's going on. Well, I'm not gonna mention it on here because I don't want the video to get like keyword tagged. Um, but this is really good. Um, just adding a nice fragrance scent and it is really, it's not drying, um, though it does, it's really strong. I can definitely say that it's a lot, it's a lot of alcohol, but that's the point in it, to kill germs. Um, it's not for aesthetic reasons besides the bottle and the scent, but other than that, its main purpose is to sanitize and to kill germs. So this I've been using all the time, of course, so... Make sure you guys are walking around with your hand sanitizers, sanitizing and wearing your fucking mask. So for the last two items, this is going to be footwear. Um, I always wanted um, the van, the checkerboard vans. So I finally went out and I picked them up. You can see probably that I've worn them already, but I haven't taken any pictures in them yet, but I always wanted these. And they tried to get me to get these limited edition ones that had like a little bit more um, gum, but well, I guess like this 
white part was just up a little bit more. But they were one, they were extremely hard to get into. I was not a fan of that. Um, my fingertips were sore even trying to get inside of the shoe because my feet are kind of wide. So once I can't get my foot inside of a shoe, I don't want it because then that means that I'm gonna be struggling every day to get it on. And then when the day is long and I've had them on all day, getting it off is just gonna be just as hard. So I just went with just the basic checkerboard ones. Um, something that's a little bit more relaxing and more of an option for me to pair with like sweatsuits um, rather than like yeah, like adding more into my neutral color palette for my sneakers. Though I do need to be adding into black because I'm looking at my sneakers now and I don't have any dark sneakers, which is sad. But this is what ventured me to go to Dr. Martens and actually pick up, let me get the exact name of them. The, I guess the Napa Black 1461s. Let me put that up to the camera. Oh, can you see that? Dills and I got them in black. Um, just it's this is like a it's a matte leather, and I wanted to add these into my wardrobe because, uh, oh, okay, piece of my sock. Um, because these are really relaxing. Honestly, they are really easy to um to break in. I kind of like my Dr. Martin to be worn, and they tried to get me to buy like this leather control cleaning whatever. I don't like to keep shoes like this um, brand new. I do like that worn in look that Dr. Martens have after a while. So this is, I didn't get them in the shiny. The shiny leather, I got it in like this matte, um, the matte leather. And that was the smartest thing that I did because I really do like this look of it. Um, I didn't get the platform ones as well because platforms actually wear out your feet after a while because you're, that's not like an accustomed height of what your foot is used to walking on. So yeah, you're definitely putting your foot in for a really, really, really intense workout. But I did want to pick those up because also since I'm getting into the workwear um, aesthetic, I wanted to get some things that like would also elevate it in a way to make my looks look a little bit more cohesive and also give you guys a lot more um, options in styling and stuff like that. So basically that wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button as well. Turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. You can follow me on Instagram. It's Jerome Parker with two R's at the end of Parker. Um, you gave me with a like, comment, follow, DM. I will need to reply back to anybody that hits me up. Also, the podcast, guys. I'm, oh my goodness. I have not podcasted in a long time because I have been extremely busy. But I also have a podcast, guys. It's called Avia Comfort Zone. Um, I upload every Wednesday. Well, I try to. Um, and I'm actually on season three, on my way into season four of it. So you, there's a ton of episodes for you to listen to and check it out. And also, guys, it is very important to vote if um, voting is still available for you, even if you have to go to the polls. Um, please, this is an important time just to really open your eyes to a lot that's going on now, especially from here to even Nigeria and what everything that's going on over there. So it is important, guys, even though we do have a lot on our own plates over here, you are also, as a human, to open your eyes and see what's going on in other places around you in other parts of the world and to show some type of sympathy support and to stand with other people during such crazy thing such crazy things that are happening now i feel like this year has been like really 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 rough on a lot of us so why not all of us stand together during these really really rough times so if you aren't educated, look up everything that's going on in Nigeria. And if you aren't educated on what's going on with uh, this presidential election, how important it is, please educate yourself on that as well. And to vote and to spread the word. So until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next upload. Later, guys.